My name is Rita Joseph Olivetti, and I'm going to read to you an extract from my novel, The Red Door, which is written under my pen name, Rita Leon. This is taken from chapter six, a retrospect, highs and lows. I know me child, I so sorry. I go ask God to help you get over this big disappointment. And she adds, as if rubbing B and T ointment and a cut as she did when I was small. They say God does never give you more than you can bear. You could have fooled me. And with that, I leave her still sitting on her bed. I go to my room. I walk slowly over to the rickety table, pull the big brown envelope from under a pile of books and open it. I take out the visa application form, so neatly filled out, the acceptance letter from Guilford School of Nursing, and the letters from Fred, which I had also kept. To that pile, I add his latest letter to my mother. Rolling them up into a tube, I pass out to the kitchen, pick up a box of matches, and then steal out to the latrine behind the house. The fusty smell, despite Mammy's monthly application of quicklime, is just what I need. I make sure that the bed nail holding the door shut is in place, and the dim, comforting light, in the dim, comforting light, I strike a match. It flares up briefly and goes out, adding its tinge of sulfur to the other noisome smells. <sighs> sulfur, that is fitting. I bundle two or three matches together and strike them. The flame is strong, and soon the tube is mesmerizing gold at one end. I gaze intently at the pa as the papers curl, blacken, and fall apart, bit by bit, into the open jaws of the waiting cesspit. As the flame eats up the roll and comes closer to the end of the tube, I do not let go until I feel the heat singe my fingers. Then I drop the last bit and shut the co cover quietly on Fred, his wife and children, Mammy and her God, Guilford School of Nursing, the British High Commissioner, and England. Ah, now you're all gone up in flames, gone to the devil. Now I feel better. Thank you.